Hello, hi guys. Today we can see another interesting SQL problem. Here we can have a two tables, table one and table two. Table one can have a ID column and table two can have a ID column. And rows are something like this. Like row one can have a triple A and row two can have a triple A in a table one. And row three can have a B triple B. And we can have a blank and we can have a null and the null. So in the table 2 can have a ID column with the same values like triple A and triple B two times it was two rows and can have a two blank and then can have a null and the null records. Okay, so when you apply a join between these two tables, so what will be the output? So that is a question. So first we need to understand how the join types will work. So we have a four types of a joins majorly we have inner join, left to join, right join and full join. That means full outer join. First we can see the inner join. So inner join can the formula is only matched rows from the two tables. That means it can give you only the matched records from the two tables. Let's see table table one and table two. Okay. So table one triple A is trying to join with this triple A and second triple A is joined with same with the second triple A and triple B is going to join with triple B and second triple B is again joining with same triple B and we can have a blank right so this will be matched with two blanks okay since we have a two blanks on the right side and next null is joined with null string so since these are nulls any two nulls are not same that's why it is not going to join with sixth record with the seventh record because this is a null null is nothing but empty uh, empty value means it do not have any value in the particular cell the, that is the meaning of this null so this null in the bla black color right so this is nothing but a null in a string so if you write any of the value means any of the characters inside the uh, double uh, inside the single quote or a double quote it can the sql database can consider it as a string type that's why it can join means so this is how the records we can get in case of the inner join so let's go to the database and can execute this okay we can change this inner join and can execute this total records are seven if you see two a's and two b's and two blanks okay and one null string this is null string this is not actual null this is a null string means it's the, the value itself is nothing but a null null -L, okay but the value if, if it is an actual null means missing representation of a null it will be in a different color okay so if you can see this count right so this is how so this is this is the value in the seventh row this is the value actual nulls means it is a missing value this is actually null is a as a value in the table next we can see the left join so the formula for the left to join is all rows from the left table plus matched rows from the right table that means the table one is a left jumble and table 2 is a right table so in this case it will get all the records from the left table and the match records from the right table that means first it can try to take all the records means the six records so for the six record it is trying to join first triple a with triple a and second triple a is trying to join with again second triple a next can have a triple b is join with again triple b and triple b from left side is trying to join with triple b from right side okay and the blank also will get matched two times and this string null right so string null is also getting matched and this null do not have any match but still it would be there as it is so the count if you can take the count of the records right so first it can have first two records okay so that is two plus and next b is also two times that is two plus and blank can also have two times that is two plus and string null can have only one so that will be one and again one null Okay, one null from the left side so this is how the total record count in case of a left outer join that means six plus two eight 
total eight records okay let me open the editor and then can run the and can show you how it is going to work so this is a left join right so let me run this left join okay so let me execute this query so if you can see the total output is eight records if you see this is a null so this is this is uh, meaning that this is not going to join with the null with the null this means that this is the equal null means that is on the left table so there is no corresponding match on the right table right side table that's why it is giving the null this is how you can see two times a two times b and two times blank and one is string null and one is actual null so this is how the result in case of the left join next we can see the right side join so right join is nothing but this is exactly opposite to the left side join so right join is equal to all rows from the right table and only matched rows from the left table okay so it will get all rows from the means the seven rows from the left right table it can get and only the matched records from the table one okay so how let's see how it is going to join so first triple a is going to join with first triple a and first triple a again is going to join with again triple a and again triple b is going to join with this triple b and triple b is going to join with again same triple b and two blanks is going to join with same blanks okay and string null is going to join with string null and we can have a null right so this null is not going to match with this uh, null that's why it given the value is null and null so if you can take the count of all these things right so it will be 2 plus 2 plus 2 1 plus 1 that means 2 a's and 2 b's and 2 blanks 1 string null and 1 null so that is equal to 8 records so let me execute the query for that so we can take the right side giant right so simply change the right side join and the condition would be same select everything and then we can run if you see the record would be eight records and if you can see two a's and two b's and two blanks okay and one string null and one is null one act next we can see the full outer join so full outer join is nothing but combination of left join plus right join so in case of the left join we already seen that all rows from the left join is qualified and in case of the right join all rows from the right join will be qualified okay so the combination of these two things is nothing but a full outer join so how it is going to get join let's see so first we can see first triple a will be matched with triple a and second a triple a will be matched with triple a and triple b will be matched with again triple b and triple b will be matched with again triple b and blank is going to match with the two blanks okay and this null string is going to match with this null string and this null in case of the left giant right so in case of this null right so this is not going to join with the right side giant so that it can give same null as it is so in case of the right giant similarly it is going to join with triple a with uh, two triple a's on left side giant and two triple b's is joined to uh, join with single triple b on a table one okay and similarly we can also join with the blanks on the string null and the null so for the last null there is no match that's why it will be as same null so if you can take the count right so first two triple a's okay so first two triple a's okay and two triple b's and two blanks if you see two these are the blanks and one null okay that means one string null okay this string null and two nulls means one null from the left side join and one null from the right side join so total is nine records so this is how the full outer join can work let run the sql for this okay so this is the join and we we just converted it as a full outer join so let's run this and we can see how many records are there let's execute this total we can have a nine records if you see what are the nine records two a's two b's and two blank records and one string null record and one null from the left table and one null from the right table so corresponding to this null values right so there is no equivalent nulls that's why it will give in the value null null like this you can count the number of records in case of an inner join left join right join and full outer join thank you so do we have any questions if you have any questions so please let me know in the comment section